Cotterer, NMRA Coyote Modified Racer, who's been racing with us for about three years now, and he's got a very cool, gotta have it green Cobra Jet, who it's a little bit of a twist in a normal Cobra Jet. Tell us about your car. Uh, the car is awesome, man. I love it. It's uh, We're having a ball with it. Took us a while to get here. We come out of the box with it in Ohio in 14 with the blower on it, and it just wasn't, it just, we ran it the whole season. It just wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. So I wanted to go a little bit further with it. So we decided to go turbo with the car. Uh, Eric Holliday is a tuner from Justin's Performance Center, and uh, he's got the car on point. The car is just on point. And so part of the turbo changes, you also swapped over to AEM Infinity standalone. AEM, yes, AEM Infinity. It's awesome. Think it's standalone. It works good. There's, you can do so much with it. And recently, you guys put a new dashboard in it. How's, we, how's that been? The dashboard is cool. I'm still. It's still new to me. And there's like I don't know. There's a bunch of pages that are involved and all, so much stuff that you can do with it. I'm still getting used to it. Uh, it's a CD7. It's an AEM CD7 dash. Uh, plugs right into the uh, Infinity unit. It's a uh, very simple installation, very simple, and you get all your information right in front of you. Great, we're going to talk to Lawson from AEM, get more about it. Yeah, John just got the new CD7 dash. Um, it's, you know, daylight readable. It has a ton of features, um, built in LEDs, ultra bright, uh, multiple screens, seven programmable pages, but really um, what makes it kind of cool is that it's an open architecture design. What we mean by that is um, it's a CAN based input, so we have two independent CAN channels, uh, but it's not limited to only AEM products. What's really cool about it is you can use it with just about any CAN based device. So if something's spitting out data channels on a CAN bus, this will accept it. We've validated, um, oh gosh, I think 135 applications in-house already. And we've got another 30 or 40 uh, DBC files, which are the CAN protocol files from other companies that they've published. So right now we know it'll work on you know well over 150 applications. And, and really, if you have a DBC file um, for a CAN output for any device, it should work with anything. What that means is if you've got a Holly, if you've got a Big Stuff uh, 3 Gen 4, uh, you know, MSD products, it works with uh, the power grid, you know, any of your devices, if you're using uh, Techmore products like their EGTs or Race Pack uh, wheelie bar here, wheelie sensors, any of that stuff, and multiple from different CAN devices, you can pipe it all in here. The other cool thing about it is it's fully custom uh, programmable. What that means is you're not constrained to our templates. Any way you want to display that data, you have the ability to do so. We give you data, um, or we give you the templates to make it real easy to get started. But whatever you want to do, really the sky's the limit. So we're real excited about it.